Hi, it's Joanna here with Four Legged Scholars Dog Training, and this is Susan and her dog Petey. And oh my gosh, that's such a cute face. <laughs> and uh, Susan just completed the well mannered house and leash walking dog program with us and wanted to share uh, what her experience has been with Four Legged Scholars. So, Susan, why don't you start off by telling us what uh, Petey was like before you started working with us. Uh, Petey was unruly and had no manners. He was used to being loose uh, behind an electric fence all day. No leash training. People come over, he would jump on them. I, that was the worst. I just really didn't like that. Would not listen, wouldn't come. Just, again, very ill-mannered. And I needed him to learn some manners. You know, awesome. when people come over, and they, behave himself and not jump and you know we do have friends of a couple little kids and I have grand hugs I needed him to behave so that's why I contacted Joanna because I needed some help with my my dog <laughs> yeah there's nothing worse than having a dog that's like jumping all over your guests right yeah You're like I no, want to have a good time it. and it just feels kind of stressful right yeah right. yeah and then in the winter sometimes where do you go oh we go to Florida in the winter and we do walk a lot in the development, and there are people there and other dogs, and he needed to um, behave, you know. He needs to be able to greet people. He needs to be able to, you know, be around people more than he is now because we live out in the country, and he really doesn't see a whole lot of people, but he needed to become a little bit more of a city dog. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. So what were some things that you learned uh, by working with us or from working with us? Um, I guess the biggest thing is I, I needed to know like the correct commands. I needed to know what needed to be re rewarded and how it needed to be rewarded so he could so just know what to do with him. You know, he just can't pull on the leash all the time. He can't yell at him all the time. I just needed to know how to go about, you know, correcting the good behaviors when he would do them and how to, you know, correct the bad behaviors when he was doing them. So, got um, it, got it. So it helped you to know the, the tools on what to right, do when absolutely. he wasn't listening and when he was listening. Absolutely. Got it, got absolutely. it. Absolutely. And how is he now? Like, what, how would you compare his behavior now to before you worked with me? Huge difference. We had 12 people over for Thanksgiving. Not once did he jump up at anybody, which I was shocked. And even my daughter said how good the dog was. So even... You know, because he was just loose in the house, it wasn't like he was leash walked or anything. But even it just seems like he's a lot calmer. He just seems so much easier around the people. It was just a huge difference. Other than he was like looking for food. Sit. Awesome, awesome. Sit. That's great. That must have made you feel really good. Absolutely. And matter of fact, I didn't even re really realize it because I was like busy until later when my daughter said, "Oh, he was so good." I'm like. He really was, you know. So otherwise, you know, bad behavior you see a lot faster than the good behavior. That was very true. You yeah. Know, he was such a good boy that you know just really didn't notice, you know. Until, yeah. Here, leave it. Got it. Got it. And how is his leash walking behavior now compared to before you started working with me? Much better. I mean, he still does, you know, get distracted. And he still pulls, but I know what to do now. And it is getting much better. Um, when it's just the two of us and we're in the driveway, um, he's like perfect. But there's very little distraction. There's no other people, no other dogs, anything like that. We're here in the store trying to teach him around people and distractions. But he's actually just sitting here being really good. And again, <laughs> I know what to do to try and bring him back to me. So he's paying attention to what he should be doing, which I would have never have known. Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. know. All I can do is just yank on him and yell Pete, thinking that that's going to work. And maybe in some cases it would, but uh, I don't think it's the right way to do it. And uh, like I said, he's doing much better. Yeah. So what are some of the things that, why don't we show um, some of the stuff that he's doing well here in the store. Let's do some leash walking with him right now. Very nice. Easy. Good boy. Easy. Good boy. Easy. Uh oh, we're in the hot dogs. Easy. <laughs> That's okay. 
And then we'll do a little sit. See if we'll do like a sit stay for a short time. Stay. Susan, what would you tell somebody if they said, hey, what's it like to work with four-legged scholars? Would it be oh. a good idea for me to do that? Absolutely. Absolutely. You are a joy. You really know your animals, and you can tell that you really love your animals. <laughs> Sit. Sit. You're easy to get along with. If I had, I think I had to cancel once, and that, you know, you were okay with that, and I just... I have nothing bad to say. I would have never, I've never trained a dog before. I've never had to, you know, contact anybody before. And um, you are such a pleasure. And again, I said, you really know your animals and you really know what you're doing and um, make you feel not like I'm totally stupid. <laughs> 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 Which, you know, it's like, why do I have to get a trainer for the dog? But, you know, I'm really glad I did. I'm really glad because I know we would never be anywhere near this. Awesome. Uh, place with the dog without your help. So absolutely I would. Great. That's awesome. I've enjoyed working with you too. It's been <laughs> it's been loads of fun for us as well. Uh, so if you would like to contact us and tell us about your dog, you can go to Ohio the number four legged scholars dot com or dial eight oh one four six three one six six eight.